The wildlife in Southern California is extremely diverse. Here at Otay Ranch High School, many different animals call our campus home. San Diego, as you may know, is a desert climate, but many species still manage to survive. The diversity of plant life is quite interesting. Flowers, bushes, fruit. Go pick it and then show it to the camera. Shrubs and everything else in between. Here we have a bumblebee pollinating a flower, but it's not alone. All kinds of bugs live here on campus, including the roly-poly, usually traveling in packs, surviving together. Others aren't so lucky. <laughs> Most insects live off the resources found in the bushes, but they have to watch out for the flying predators. California is home to over 50 species of pigeons and finches. <laughs> Back on the ground, we find the rock squirrel. They have their offspring during the spring. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the baby just popped out. <laughs> they dig underground routes for transportation, to sleep, and to hide in. These are found all over campus. Here we have two baby squirrels playing with each other on the grass field. The rock squirrel is omnivorous, meaning it feeds on seeds, insects, beans, and fruits. Then we have the desert cottontail rabbit, blending in with the plants. The desert cottontail rabbits are herbivores, meaning they eat plants, including grasses, herbs, and shrubs. 70% of their diet is grass. On the other side of the 700 building, we see one stopping for a meal and to groom itself. We were fortunate enough to get quite a close shot of it before it scattered off. Back in the air, we have an Anna's hummingbird. Here's something you didn't know. Hummingbirds are indigenous to southwestern America. Here we have a group of pigeons, brewers, blackbirds, and bush tits, all feeding off the grass. Birds also mate during the spring. Here we have a shot of two birds. The one on the right is obviously pregnant. Possibly they are mating partners. But the most dominant species of all is the human, which happens to not be so shy in front of the camera. They seem to all meet up at the same time. <laughs> They leave behind signs showing that they were there. And they also leave their waste all over the place. Just as they appeared, they seem to all simultaneously go back into the big boxes that they came from. That's when the seagull shows up. The seagulls feed off the human's waste once they retreat back to where they came from seems to be a pattern. The animal kingdom is amazing. Not to mention, we were only mentioning animals found here on campus and only mentioning animals that we happen to find on footage. Next time you guys are in the classroom, just remember, there's a lot more going on outside than you think. I'm Grant Gottlieb, KOR TV News.